Hey everybody, welcome back to Thursday Night Poker, CCG Poker TV. Part three of three. Part three of three, the finale. St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Ending the saga of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre Bounty Tournament. It is not only one of the highest buy-ins that we do, it is also the highest bounty tournament that we do. It is also the longest title of any um, tournament. The name itself, St. Oh, Valentine's Day yeah. Massacre it's even longer if you bounty spell out Saint. Tournament. Good God. It's a mouthful. <laughs> it is. But it's great. It's, it's a popular tournament. We're down to three players. Started with 50 something. 57. 57. Started with 57, down to three. Joe on the left here in the black. Pat, or Instamuck as he is known on his social media handle on Twitter. Nope. Instagram. Yes, Instagram. I hope he bought I hope he got the Twitter handle too. I'm sure he did. Um, Anthony just doubled up through uh Jill. And I say doubled up because they were within so close. squeaks. I mean it was squeaks. Yeah, I mean we had to count all the way down. I think he might have out had her out pipped by 20, 30, 40k. Yeah, literally so, I mean, a he, big blind or two. It, whoever, and the nice thing is, whoever was going to win one of those two was going to be the new chip leader. And a pretty commanding chip leader? No? Yeah, double. Double second. Um, so, a few things. They've made two deals. It's no longer a bounty tournament. No longer a bounty tournament. Bounties are in the players' pockets. They that kept their own bounties. About six. Six or seven. I need a picture. And then they did a four way no, little uh, chaperone with. Mike. Um, with Jill so and these three, thousand, and then they're playing for the trophy. And so now I gotta some give fans what they want. Right. You, some money. Manoli's back. Some money and um, and the title. The title's good. The title is good. And our viewing pleasure. We get to critique their play. That's what we're gonna do today. We're, it's all about critiquing play. Would you like to talk about that? Um, or you want to play on your phone? Well, I was reading Kobe's final text messages. I was getting a little what were they? I don't know because you interrupted me. Oh, all right, we'll read them on air. I don't. I can't. I mean, there's a pop up going on, okay. and we've we've struck yeah. audio we're, gold here. Um, he was talking to the Lakers um, general manager Joe with Ace Jack from the button. Blinds are now twelve twenty four, so they did finally go up, which is nice. All right, Joe, Ace Jack. If I'm going to uh, critique his play, I'd say it's a very nice raise from the button. Take it down. Oh, three handed hold him is very tough. Yeah, your ranges are a lot different. Yeah, everything's all jumbled up. No takers on that ace jack? No takers. Any Quakers? No Quakers. Do you know what a Quaker is? No idea. Uh, the guy on the oatmeal? Like That's true. A, with a Quaker pilgrim hat? hat? Uh, like a what hat? Like a, it's like a pilgrim hat? Pilgrim hat. He's walking like a Quaker? Like an old school like pilgrim? Yeah, sure. Am I close? Yeah, I think they're like uh, the Amish Quakers, Pilgrims, same thing. So that was pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. All right, so boom. I have a very rich vocabulary. Ace three versus ace six. Pat, Pat raised. Raise. Joe called. That was weird. Uh huh. The <laughs> king seven four rainbow check check. Everybody's gonna get checked the whole I mean, way down. How are we not c betting? Nobody wants to take initiative here. I mean, I don't know. Pat could just be taking all these pots down. He gets so much respect. Now he has to show down a... A less than premium ham and for a chop. Yeah. That's Ace Jack. <laughs> Ace Jack? No, no, bro. Like, I, can't, I can't beat Ace Jack. <laughs> what the hell? Moral of the story here? Bet. Bet more. I just switched the cards up so he had aces and uh, Joe had 6 3. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been more profitable happened, for him. Though, he but came up uh, on like Fioria. in the middle there. Of, you know, like, Especially with like the blinds that shallow and stuff. Like, the people are going to be playing back at you too, too terribly much without Unless hands. they've got a premium hand. hands. Right. So you can narrow their range down to basically. You know, at least mostly strong hands. Mm -hmm. 
uh, like yesterday top when five I was, or six. When hands. I'm in a monster stack, like we got hundred big blinds. Like I'm scared to bet because I'm just going to get raised and I don't know what to do. And it's tough when you're deep, so you're just going to get outplayed and stuff like that. But here, it's they're kind of shallow. Taking small stabs and stuff is just going to get it through a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I said, people are right here, King 10 6. Joe just min bets. I think. Got bottom pair. It's good. Yeah. Bet 24. Fold. And if you get raised there, just fold. Give it up. Yep. We talked about this. If you can win, if you can do that three or four times, you can only make it through one out of four, and it's still a profitable play. Yeah. Correct? Because you break about even. Yeah, all you gotta do is win one of those. Mm -hmm. you, where you win, or you win. You two. win one out of four, you break even. Yeah. And you had four chances to win four different times for good good pots. Managed to get two of those through. Yeah, you're chipping up. You're you're up. I've already got three of them. That's insane. Nobody gets three through. No. Queen deuce off, complete. Anthony in the big blind jack seven of spades checking up. Even though the Jack-7 is behind, I like his hand better. Not on this flop, This though. could be trouble. So we have a bet of 30K. Flop stop pair of back kicker checks. So this is where Pat has a full repertoire of options. Raising is good. Because now you're in... Check. This is kind of a bad turn. But check, check. Ace on the river. Pat's going to check again. Anthony is probably going to check. All right, Pat's going to maybe turn. I don't, know if Pat, I don't know if Pat thinks he's bluffing or if he thinks he's got the best I think side. he's turning his hand into a bluff. What was he trying to? But, like, well, maybe he's just value betting. I don't know. Trying to get a 10 to call. Who knows? I don't know what Pat was thinking there. But I usually don't. Um, anyways. 12-24-12. Event still looks kind of busy back there. Yeah, it is. Now this was, um, this was what, like 9 o'clock at night? And that was a pretty good event. It was. <clears throat> this was Sunday, so that was Magnificent Mutz, Mr. Dapper. Mr. Dapper. Shout out to Mr. Dapper, who asked me repeatedly to not call him that. And he's like, my name's Mike. And I was like, you got it, Mr. Dapper? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't do it in a smart-ass yeah. way. I just, like, it just it didn't feel, like, right. I was like, nope, it just feels like you're, like, you're Mr. yeah, it's just, I was giving him the, the his duly uh, appreciated or, or uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? He deserved, I thought he deserved acquired, it. Duly yeah, acquired. duly acquired, whatever. Mo, on the other hand, I got no problem calling him Mo. I like Mo. He's funny. He makes me laugh. Insta again raises, gets re-raised from <laughs> Anthony, who three bets to one eighty, and uh, Pat's not gonna fall for that one. Do you like the three bet on Ace Ten? I, I mean, do. you got to get premium. You got to get you got to get chips for your premium hands. But how much is a good sized raise there? What was Pat the, made oh, a 55. 55, so 180. 180. Oh, that's what he went? Mm -hmm. That's what I said. I don't know. It's a little more than 3x. 180. Yeah, remember they say four, 3.5 to 4x if you're out of position. That's what you want a 3 bet at? Yes. Three times if you're in position. You want to make it a little bit smaller so they can put a chips in with a few weaker hands because you are in position. And you're going to be able to play them, better. play your hands better after the flop. Yes. Post flop, as they call it. Did you match your hat and shirt today? Um, Did you, like, put on your sweatshirt and you're walking out the door and be like, ah, I need to grab a hat. I'm going to grab a red one because I'm wearing a red shirt. Yes. I was down to, like, okay. eight yesterday at the table we were at. <laughs> so when you only wear black every day, it's pretty easy yeah. to just be like, ah, what black sweatshirt am I going to wear today? Queen 5 4, this is the this dreamiest is not spot. good for um, Joe. Bet 75. Let's see if Patsy's going to play it sneaky. Sneaky town it is. Jack on the turn, no help for Joe. This should be a bet. All in, All in call. call. Yeah. It's like Joe knows his beat when he gets called. He just, he just got it. I mean, it's a cooler. It's a cooler. Right? Yeah. I we mean, were three handed. Three handed. He fought top pair with a 10. Kicker. And it's like, how often does the tight guy have queen five and queen four? 
Not very often. He probably has ace queen more often. But I don't even know how the action went preflop. Small by mid right. I think it was limp check, right? Okay. Limp check. Yeah. So maybe you could put him on there, but, but not I mean, really. Not it's folding. Pat. You're not folding the time. Yeah, uh-uh. It's one of those times where if you got it, you got it, which yeah. we discussed last week as if you've got a better hand, then you got the pot. It's just a shortened version of that. All right, we're heads up. Heads up. Ten minutes in. Let's do our plugs. It's mini CSOP week. Is it? I think it starts. We're fast-forwarding. Well, you, the, the viewers don't need to know that, but, yeah, that's what we're doing. So it starts tomorrow? Mm, yeah, it starts Sweet. tomorrow. This should be March 5th airing. All right, so March 6th, 6th. we have a three-day weekend. Mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is this... Um... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's going to be Bridgeview, Bridgeview, Bridgeview. Oh, beautiful. Yep, and it's uh, CSOP event number one is the Super Tweener, which you get... Um... Great way to start off the, the CSOP. Yep, Super Tweener. 10K and chips, 12-minute levels, 4 p.m. on Friday. Yep, yep, yep. I think we're actually, that's not correct. I'm reading the website. No, I think we called it the Super Tweener because we wanted to give it the, um, uh, Anthony got his King High Flush again. We wanted to do the Sunday special idea where it's a $5 add-on for this and $10 add-on for double. So they can get 20 k in that one. Oh, so it's a s Super Tweener. So we're going to stick with that. You sure about that? I'm, I'm changing it. Okay. Just change it. You heard it's it always first. called the Super Tweener now. Oh, it is. Because it's a 10K starting set. Okay. Strike that. <laughs> Just a regular <laughs> Super Tweener. Otherwise, we'd have to call it the Super <laughs> right. Duper Tweener. Right. And now it's just getting ridiculous. No, yeah. It's just a stupid name. I was a little upset that the WSOP the circuit Super event, Twitter. they called it the Monster Stack. Yeah. Like, hey, guys, don't be copying. Um, don't be I remember those my style. little things, the little monsters we had. That was great. Like that was great images. advertising. Oh, it really was. That was my favorite. Now it's blood dripping down on the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Which is still pretty good. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I kept that one the same. Anyways, I also like that. Mini CSOP starts tomorrow. Sunday or uh, Friday's event number one is the Super Tweener at four o'clock. Saturday back at Bridgeview is going to be a hundred twenty dollar CSCG Deep Stack tournament. Your regular Deep Stack tournament, thirty k in chips, ten uh, twenty minute levels, ten dollar add on, which will get you up to that thirty k. Except we're adding a main event seat to that tournament. Oh, I was about to say there's you get points and a main event seat. So it's main event, main seat. event, main right event away. seat. Drill it, you're good. And on Saturday we have the PLO PLO eight Big L O. I literally think I wrote down Big L O. Big L O. But it's, it's uh, Big O. Big O. Thanks. P L O. It's the P L O extravaganza. Eight. It's the Omaha extravaganza. All of the PLs and the O's. Okay. You got P L O, P L O eight, and then Big O. Sweet. Which is also P L. Yes. It's just there's no P L in it. So that's a 9 o'clock tournament for event number three. And then on Sunday, so four events the first weekend. Nope, strike that, kids. There's five events in the first weekend of the mini CSOP. On um, Sunday at noon at uh, back at Bridgeview. Still at Bridgeview. It's Bridgeview all this weekend. Uh, you got a big bounty deep stack at noon, event number four. And you get the $120 horse, 4 o'clock on a Sunday in Bridgeview. Oh, sweet. I'm going to count out five tables in that. Yeah. Event five is going to have five tables it's now is the gross. big the big it's a big bounty big bounty so 150 150 sweet 25 dollars bounties yes i like that one it's a good one it is a it's the deep stack structure yeah. adding in right. adding in the bounties still goes into the prize pool it's nice the yeah prize pool's juicy, the it's 100 dollars nice. in the prize pool 25 dollars for the hosting charity 25 dollars in your bounty so yeah. that's yeah, 150 all day at 10 dollars for the add-on if you so choose somebody line? asked me if you have to do the add-on and my uh, my answer was no so you do not that? have to do that i mean we, it's priced to be very good you ever go to the gas station i mean i, I know you go to the gas station because you drove here so clearly like you've been to a gas station for, one, for like for 285 and right. two for three three bucks or 350 it's like well i gotta buy that it's like it's, i'm such a sucker i never buy one i always buy two even though you only want to drink one yeah and half the time i leave my car gets all warm then i throw it away yep but it's marketing at its finest, right. which is what the add-ons are. You're just you shit out of luck. Them. You don't have to buy them, but you're going to be at a disadvantage. <laughs> it is what it is. I like it. It's good for and me. And it's 
It's not at so much of a disadvantage where you, you don't have to. You don't have to do it. It's not like it's like one thousand starting, nine thousand for the add-on. You like you have to buy the add-on in order to be in the tournament. Yeah, I mean, I mean you're you're gonna need to find a double up if you don't want to buy the add-on. Is what it comes down to. It puts a lot more pressure on you. Twenty k starting in the deep stack. Isn't right. that terrible? No, thirty sounds way more better for ten bucks. I mean, if you you're gonna buy twenty k in chips for one hundred twenty dollars, why would you buy ten dollars, ten k in chips for ten bucks? It seems like a silly. Uh, Seems like a no-brainer. Right. Which, like I said, was the entire idea. Right, we, we got, got the Tom Petty in the back. You I like hear it? it. Good. We got the over-the-camera view. All right, so Insta raised to 80, 80K. Anthony calls with the 10-8. Oh, King 5. So now Pat's opening up again. King, King, four. Obviously, I mean, he oh, just yeah. knows. This is going to be a... That's 10,000? I think it's 30. Okay. <laughs> it, looked like 10, though, it? it looked like 10, though, didn't it? It looked like 10. He bets 30, gets no call there. I like betting out the king there. It's something I always do. I always bet out if I flop trips. I flopped quad queens yesterday or a week and a half ago, whatever it is, yeah. in the past at the... Uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. Two weeks ago. Um... I had queens, flop comes queen, queen, three, and I was like, please have it. And I just kind of made a little squirrely bet, you know, like uh, not even two times the blinds, just like right, just one, one and a third. Like one big blind, a little over yeah. a big blind, yeah. A little more than a min bet, you know, it was like, I think it was 10, 25 at that point, which I find to be a weird level, but so they don't have to keep the orange in play. Yeah, I like how they, but I made it I like, like their levels. 35, you know, so it's like not really a low one, but. He's already got one call, and then I bet again. I think I bet sixty, and then he he sniffed my game, or had no no outs whatsoever. Whoa, ace is alert. Pew, 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 and a limp. Let's see a flop here, kids. Jack ten, ace breakers. Do something. Oh Ooh, no, that's good. Jack, all spades though. Jack nine three, all spades. Um, it's awesome when you have aces and it's an all spade flop. Yep, yeah, red aces. Red aces. Pat yeah. checks for a spade, no spade in his hand, and a call. Turn. How hard is it to put your playing partner on a four card? Way, you know, four card flushes here when your head's up. I mean, how much do you discount it, or what, you know what I mean? Oh, you mean like him flopping a flush? Right, like oh, Pat Jesus. going, I don't have a spade. How do I, you know? Yeah, I mean. A lot of what Anthony's betting has spades in it. Okay. Especially if he's betting twice. Not two spades, but at least oh, a spade. spade. So you got to proceed with caution when another spade comes. But right now, you don't really... You have to worry about it too terribly much. It's a six, which is a wet napkin. Pat checks, which... 200. 200. Wow. He bet it again. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is super strong. We're heads up. I know. I have a. I have difficulty. And you're in. You're in PLO mindset. Which I can't get I, out of it. I, had I to can't get, get out of me full such a ring, long time. full ring, and um, PLO. I just. I. I always feel like somebody's got it. It took me such a long time to get out. Of, like. And I discount aces so much. I look at. I told you. Uh, I folded aces preflop, and you're like, "Why would you ever fold aces preflop?" Because I had. Uh, we got aces, and uh, we got a call here. Two hundred thousand on the river. Wow. And you thought it was a bluff. It was a bluff catching hand. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he did limp, and the spades missed, the straight draws missed. He What's he worried about? He a nine there? A lot. He Ace. does beat a lot. Yeah. You can't put him on any big yeah. hands because of that. I mean, he could even have had a weaker jack. Yeah. Jack eight. Jack seven. Mm -hmm. Not jack nine, though. Jack nine can't jack be. Nine. Jack nine can't be. Jack nine can't be. But I folded aces pre flop. I, I bet I raised. This is an Omaha, guys. This is an Omaha. Right, it's different. Yeah, I had aces. Like seven deuce, ace is seven deuce. Was it actually seven? Deuce? No suit. I think it actually was seven. It might have been six deuce, so okay. that's moderately better, but not much. It's moderately better. I mean, all right, it's a lot better, but whatever. I have straight draws at that point. Well, you an still extra have a straight, straight draw. It's the same an extra draw. straight draw. It's the same straight. Extra straight draw. Three, four, five. Okay. You still make same, a straight. Same with straight draw. It's you make a higher straight. So yeah, I, I'm even next leveling my own thinking that I didn't even realize right. that's what it was. I it might have been seven deuce because okay. I think I joked like I can't wait to tell Brandon I folded aces with seven deuce, and um, I even think I showed the guy um, 
I was like, oh, too bad we're not playing any prop bets with seven deuce and folded. And then um, he showed aces double suited. Wow. Like, I don't want to go against that. Well, of course not. I mean, that's... I, in Omaha, you can get away from aces. I hold them in two card Omaha. I can't do it. I'm sticking to it. I like it. I think it's good. Ace nine of diamonds. This is the very next hand versus yep. ace deuce suited. Uh -huh. How are these two not getting it all in? I don't know. Is Anthony going diagonals or is he going 200k stacks in the middle with a couple of 100k? Yeah, stacks, I, yeah, I don't know. I like the pyramid. It's a better base. Well, he's got. Two, he doesn't know what to do with the chips. Or not. Action's happening fast. Yeah, it is. Just it is kind of the very. Not that you don't ever want to be heads up in a big tournament where you've got to deal with a bunch of chips, but it's aggravating to have to put the blinds out, scoop in a pot, move this around, next hands up, blah 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 blah. Right. Blinds going. Everybody's looking at you. It's like it's very. Um, How many hands did you guys play heads up two weeks ago? Uh, two. <laughs> now, in all fairness. We go. We come back from break. Dinner break. There's three of us left. Five, five, ten. Flop here. Anthony flops back door. This is a the chop five. Yeah, this it's a chop. A chop a lot. Twenty-two outs here. to chop. To win or chop. To win or chop. Nope. Three outs to win. A lot more to chop. Yeah, now he's got a three more outs. Three to, banger to win. So many outs that the, the graphic can't show it them just all. Just disappears. Okay, so you came back from break. Came back from break. It was 915,000 in chips to 950,000 in chips. So me in second and third. I was in third. Um, and then the chip leader, Manoli, had 1.5. And then the very first hand, um, I flopped a straight draw, like a double belly buster, turned a clubs and bricked on the river. Ugh. And all three of us were in the hand the whole way. So I went from 915 to like four. Like 480, I lost half my stack, and then the like two hands later, the two the two chip leaders go at it, because I think the guy with 950 won that pot, so they kind of got to where they were both at like 1.2. It was like a 300k. Sure. Each of us were for like 300, so but it that makes leveled sense. out. There's 3.1 in place, so so 1.5, 1.2, so you got 400. Yeah. So they're basically right there, and then the very next hand they get it all in. The two chip leaders, I was like, great spot for me to be in. Yeah. Ladder up without doing anything at 400K, which probably, I mean, at that point, everybody's just thinking about a, a victory versus not, which is kind of a different mindset for Omaha, I feel like, where guys are trying to win more than just, like, move up in the money. Yeah. Maybe it's a different, more gambly, certainly, right? Sure, yeah. But you have more opportunities to get. So, anyways, Omaha, it's a flush draw versus... Top pair, open-ended, lots of overs. I mean, it was just, you know, sure enough, drills a club. So the other guy's got Paul. That's what that's his name, right? Paul drills the nut flush on the turn, but gave Manoli two pair. And then the board paired on the river, the king jack. Yeah, he flopped a king. The turn was a jack of clubs. Gave Manoli king jack. Gave the other guy the nut flush. And whoop, king on the river. He's out. I'm down to 400,000, and the guy's got the rest of the chips in play. So and I doubled up the next hand. I literally said, I'm going all in next hand no matter what. I'm not going to wait around. Because he's just going to raise every hand, and I'm just going to get, I'm going to lose a quarter of my stack to blinds here. I mean, the blinds were, I think, 20 40 at that point. I'm going to lose 10%. They might have been 25 50. Or 20. No, they were, we never got to 30 60, so it was 25,000, 50,000 blinds. Because everybody was just throwing in one blue, two blues. Two blues, yeah. yeah. All right, check call or a limp call. Limp check. I'll get there, folks. This is also going to be... Who's got the heart? Anthony's betting his hearts again. I give him credit. He took the Brandon line here. If you've got a flush drop, bet it twice. you got two chances to win. Yep. That might be your best line that you've given. Your best advice so far. And I will say thank you. You gave me some really good advice. I applied it. And it didn't work, <laughs> but it was solid advice. It worked. I was a chip leader at the final table. You're like, you got to put pressure. Raise from all of your buttons and cutoffs, especially if it gets limped. You know, there's no raise into you. Raise every single hand. I did it like three hands in a row, and all three times I c bet on the flop, and all three times I got three bet. <laughs> that sucks. It does. We have an all in with ace eight. Ooh, ten eight. 
Not great. Like that? Like it. It's so crazy, even the cameras are going nuts. I see an 8. Do you see a 10, though? Do not see a 10. 8, 5, 5, King. Chopportunity. Yeah, 5 is good. 5. What's the Chopportunity? I don't know. <laughs> 8 or 5? No, oh, no. <laughs> okay, there's, there's the Chopportunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a what a bad beef for Pat. Oh yeah, he's a, he had him dead to rights. Yep. Dead to the, the case eight. I didn't realize though, Pat is way down in chips here. He just lost that big hint. Earlier. <laughs> which <laughs> which one? I feel like we're off he our won, game today. He won the no well oh yeah, with the Jack Ten. Yeah. He okay. called the Jack Ten and then because yeah. they were pretty close in chips at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he called two hundred K off on the river. Yeah. And then just had a premium chance there to double up and didn't. Playing the short stack when you're there. And he just jammed it with queen four. We didn't get to see Anthony's hand, but I can't imagine it was very good. It's tough playing heads up. It is. Especially when most of us don't get this, this experience. If you're, if like, I feel like you and I are typically more cash game players than tournament. Right. Neither one of us have the But the short-handed play is... Like, it's huge. It People is. discount it's that all so the money is, much. Too. It's where all the money it is. It is. It's really where all the money is. I mean, like, like go, keep going back to the Omaha tournament. Ninth place is like 1700 bucks. Like, literally nothing. Oh, it was, I like was almost... I, not that I was pissed about it, but like... You really have to win. Or like get top three. Once it got to like five, it was like five k, and then I was like, "All right, well now this is like a pretty juicy winner." Right, and then four got to nine k. It's like, okay, top four. No, four guys. Fourth place was like seven and change, seventy six hundred, something like that, seventy five hundred. Oh yeah, sixty seven. Because third place was like I said fifth and fourth was like, were like the same because of the taxes. It's like sixty seven. Insta doubles up here with the ace ten versus king nine ace high good ace high um, good. <clears throat> which when you got an ace heads up. And your short stack, you're, you're just jamming it in yeah, there. You're, you're ahead. Uh, but what we were talking about was, I payouts. lost my train of thought. Payouts, oh, payouts. So third place was 10k, and then it jumped up to like almost 14k for second, and then first is 22. So if, when you're playing three-handed, you're going from 10 to 22. That's where all the like, money that's is. That's huge because it's really when you're thinking about the difference between third and second being only 3,500 bucks, four thousand dollars. I know that's a weird thing to say. It's only four thousand dollars. But it's not a huge difference, right. right? Maybe I think about that in a wrong way, but I wasn't. I was thinking, like, at this point, my, my range is going way open because I'm not, I want to win, not get third or second. I'm not playing for second. I'm playing for first. Yeah. And a ring, which I really wanted. I wanted to wear it to all the events in my pinky. It'd be all cool. I would have worn it for, like, a week and then put it in a drawer and never looked at it again. Yeah, you could sell I also had maybe one of my best lines ever. There's also a bet on how long it takes him to sell that ring. If you want to get out of this wow. this pool, <laughs> it's bad. I know. <laughs> what are the chip stacks at now? Well, now we got a game. We got seven fifty, maybe eight hundred thousand now to one point three. I think I'll take the under. I will take the under as well. All right, Pat taking it down there with the nine high. This is the thing. Aggression kills, man, because... So you're at 1 million in chips to 1.3. So they're basically pretty yeah. even here. Whoever wins the next hand in a big big game here is going to be right, a massive yeah. chip leader. So my funny joke at the World well, Series yeah, what's your is... Line? Guy sitting on the table, and the floor is like, Sir, you can't sit on the tables. Like he was like sitting on the he table? He was sitting on the table. Like there were like three, three of the uh, three guys sweating Paul, and and he's sitting on the table, and it was kind of a, a, a bad. Uh, oh, eight's limp and uh, trying to st stick it to Instamuck here. Queen eight three. There's a queen. Oh. Wow! Not only a queen, but a three. Just to missed just the, to make it eight. as good, he's gonna fire this one out. Seventy five. No sixty. Pat smooth calls. Jack of the turret's not a great card for him, but I don't think he's worried too much about it. Check yes. check. I now he ooh, Pat's bet on gonna that turn. gonna bet. Uh, oh, it might have been a king on the river to be honest. Yeah, that's a bad river. It's a okay. bad run out. Bad run out for Pat, but he's still good. Uh, Won, the there. Won the minimum there. Won the minimum there. So, anyways, the guy sitting at the table. Floor comes over and says, "Hey, sir, you can't sit on the table." And then Paul says, "He does have twelve rings, which he does. The guy's got twelve circuit rings winners. I mean, that's an insane number. It's got to be the Josh. most. It is." 
Um, and I have to put in the little needle. Oh, the table minimum's thirteen. <laughs> Before you get to the tables, it's thirteen rings. And I was like, that was really kind yeah. of a jerky thing what, to say. What did he say? He didn't. I don't know if he even heard me, or oh, he okay. totally didn't even say anything. I would have definitely talked some smack, considering I've got twelve rings, and you can definitely do that. That's got to be the guy who's got the most, most. all time. Right? Well, he just he just eclipsed. It's they're going back and forth him and that Maurice Hawkins guy. Wow, that's insane. I mean, that's crazy insane. Twelve times? I've made three final tables my whole life. You fire every single tournament. I've only played four times, so I'm I'm doing pretty good. I only play Omaha tournaments. I've played four Omaha tournaments. In the last four Omaha tournaments, I've got three final tables. A bubble, which was really rough. You know Brad? uh, Brad, the one that you didn't chop with the Mm -hmm. HPT? And he won? Yeah, uh, I was talking to him about that. You were still in. He's like, I was like, oh, man, there's... He's like, this guy's just a crusher, huh? And I was like, no, he doesn't really play, man. I was like, he's only played like four. And he's like, yeah, he's gotten second in two of them. Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, it was very humbling for me to get a bunch of compliments from people to be like, wow, you're like a legit player. And I was like, no, I'm really not. <laughs> I keep playing the dumb um Columbo, right? Like I pretend to be stupid, but really I'm smart because um, I don't want people to think I'm a good player. I want to get bad calls and. Nobody makes a bad call against a guy who's got 12 rings, right? Like, your image is is like Pat. He gets bluffs through because he can't, right? People yeah. give him an absurd amount of respect, which is rightfully so. The kids normally got the goods. But I just I was kind of extremely excited about that. It was a nice compliment even after I got second, and I was kind of sad. So I really wanted to get first. Eight, nine, eight of diamonds versus six, four diamonds here. Red flop. I think they both have 12. Okay. Do they really? That's insane. Can you imagine? Even if you played every damn circuit event every year, that's still an incredible record. The ring win is records 12, putting him one back from Reese Hawkins for the lead. Maurice has got and 13. tied with Val Vornico for second all time. So it's another wow. guy with 12, too. That's insane. Those guys are crushers. I'm a goof. Nine high good there. Oh, this is kind of crazy. What? I just was like, Potawatomi, event nine, final table results. Josh Riker, winner. Brian Screens, four. George Dietz, third, which is, I think, Bloomfield well, George. It is. Jordan Halser, fifth. Wow. That Jordan's is. got two rings. Jordan's got two rings. It's a lot of rings at that table. We'll yeah. go up at ten. Okay. Still pretty even in chips here. We got 1.3 to 900, so 60 40 split here. 60 40 split. At least the percentage is up to 100 now. The round is correct. I noticed you didn't wear a hat at the tournament. Do you? Is that a conscious effort? You didn't wear a hat on Sunday. You didn't wear a hat on Monday. Uh, Maybe you need to change it up. More hats more often. No, I'm not sure. Do you wear hats when you play cash game? Sometimes. Just it, you're, you're not thinking about this at all. No. all right. It all depends on my hair. Which <laughs> is why I never wear a hat. It's like. So 33 minutes in, Joe's not watching, so maybe we should give a shout-out to our one and only celebrity CCG Poker YouTube watcher. He was on New Kids on the Block. He was in New Kids on the Block. And he has a famous brother, super famous brother. I don't know what you're talking about. How do you not know who I'm talking about? Of course I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, my bluffs get through every time. They do, I told totally <laughs> you. <laughs> Good bluff, Brandon. Good bluff. <laughs> Good bluff, Brando. Ooh, what's going on with our cameras? Here? I don't know. The, the table, table was did not yeah. Work well. It was. I don't you know think if it's, it's a trailer fault. It could be the cold. I don't know. It was rough. Maybe do an update. I was having trouble with it all night. All night trouble. Out of thirteen bigs. Thirteen bigs, though. He's still got oh, like. Plenty. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nobody cares about that. I mean, it is thirteen bigs, but what's the other guy got? 26, 25, 24? 50% more than him. Yeah. 20? 1? That's what I said. Yeah, you're the best. King 6 versus Ace Jack. We could see some fireworks here. Matt, uh, Pat raised to 120. I'm all in. A little min bet there because we're at 3060 now. All in? It is 3060 because not only did they do this, they were heads up and they're like, we want to up the levels faster. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Like every 10 minutes. They did like 10 minutes. And then it got to like let's do it again, and it was actually Pat who was pushing for the let's 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 f- speed this up. Yeah, 
This is why they should have maybe not chopped for such a big, ch- uh, like such an even mm-hmm. chop. Yeah, left left such a little amount yeah. to play for because then everyone's like, well, yeah. yeah, you're like, meh. It's a lot of work. It sucks for... to it sucks to get down to heads up and really not care if you win or not. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Option from Pat with the nine three. Going to see if Howard's flop. back. What a guy. All right, uh, 10, 8, 7, Rainbow. Little open under for Instamuck. Gutter ball for Anthony. 8 on the turn. Pat's going to try and take it down here, and he does. So one time being out of position actually works to his advantage because if, if first. whoever's going to bet first here is going to win, he gets first opportunity. Now that we're heads up, obviously the V-pips are going to Yeah, because his V-pip was at 4% when we were at a full table or it's 7-handed. Right. And now when you get heads up, you pretty much play You're your forced, pot. yeah. So. I mean, yeah, heads up play, I'm I'm way more respectful of now. Oh, yeah, I'm lost. I'm I'm idea. Yeah, it's such a different game. Which is why players like, should if you, if you want and, to play more if you, like pl- if, you, if you try and play tight, you're just going to get run over. You're never gonna, it's never going to work. Right. But then if you play too loose, it's like you're just punting. Right. Where's the medium? Where's the hot medium? Yeah. The uh, optimal medium play yeah. there. Down to two. <laughs> yes, we are down to two. Hand number 107 of the final table, and they have been playing since noon, and it's probably, what, 9.30 or 10? Yeah. I mean, they're talking about a lot of play. It's grueling, right? It is. It was so funny, going back to the WSP, I max late reg the monster stack, so I didn't come until after dinner break. So it was like, you know, eight o'clock, and it was already. And level. the tournament started at noon. noon. The tournament started at noon, and then like we got close to close to eating the money, and I talked to the floor Pat. I was like, "How many? Like we're only playing to level twenty one today," and he's like, "Yeah, dude." He's like, "That's gonna take us till twelve thirty. and I was like, "Oh, I was like, I thought we would be like get a late night." And he's like. Dude, the tournament started at it's twelve dude. hours. That's so I was yeah. like, I was like, oh, it's twelve plus. I guess I didn't get in here till eight. So playing at eight doesn't. You missed eight hours. Right. I was like, I guess I just which, feel like I just. Which got... actually is kind of a. I mean, that's I a, that's a, that's a po- well, it's a point of contention, time. right? It's the idea of there's guys who've been playing since noon. Granted, they got to play all those early levels, but they've mentally been playing for a lot so longer. Long. That's hard to. I I always have difficulty getting that through right yeah. like getting the ability to be patient and get it all the way done now like, it's easier on day two when you're playing for all the money correct especially like you when you stayed focused last night when you're done it was funny people. when we got at the end of day one of the omaha tournament everybody was complaining because we were like at 33 players and 27 pay- paid and it was a possibility we got uh, two things happened one when we got down to 10 minutes left in the level they just paused the clock and each table played five hands that's what they do. Which was, uh, which I thought minutes, was really and cool. Draw. And then uh, somebody had mentioned, "Oh, are we going hand for hand?" The guy's like, "No, I'm paying attention because of the fact that I know what each table is at, so I'll know who finishes where." Um, and we ended up did we ended up getting into the money in those last five hands per table. But it would have sucked. But again, it's the same principle. It's like, do guys want to come back for day two with no chips? And the possibility of not even being in the money, it's so much better to come back to day two and be in the money. It's fine. It makes it worth I think if you were on the actual ball, they would have extended it for you. Because Todd told me that, you know, they would, if everybody wants to, like, yo, let's get into this money. So So it's funny. Everybody kept saying, are we going to play the money? Are we going to play? They're, like, yelling at the floor. I was like, man, do I appreciate the idea here that this is a normal thing for poker players in general. Because you don't want to drive all the way back to Naperville. Drive all the way back to the It's an hour and ten minutes for me. Right. And drive all the way back, bust the first hand like I did at Potawatomi, and be like, all right, well. But then somebody brought up, they're like, but isn't that what the casino wants? They want you to get you back in the door. Because if I'd have come back, I'd have probably played the monster stack, or I would have played something else, or I would have gone down to blackjack, or I would have played craps. Right. I mean, I would have stayed. Well, there's longer. a fine line of, like, what the, I'd have taken the casino's my... agenda for two guys. Right. Whereas, like, No, the that's general, true. Yeah, it's the... a little cynical to say it that way, right? Yeah. All right, King is good here on the river for Anthony. Peck got rivered. He had an eight. Bets it out and gets a call, obviously, with the king. King's good. Good river for uh, Anthony. Pat's down to under 600,000. 
down. He's back right. down to his <laughs> difficult spot here. Now it's all the pressure is on Pat. Nine big blinds. Yeah. Nine big blinds heads up is rough. It is. Because those blinds come around pretty fast. They do. Basically, you're blind every hand. We're at 36 <laughs> Basically. Basically. Yeah. Sometimes you're a blind and a half. It was nice to be three-handed and be the button, and it's like, man, I get the best position, and I don't have to put any money in if I don't want to. Like, it's such a premium spot. I had even difficulty opening up hands when we were, like, five-handed. Because we were stuck at six-handed for a long time. The, the short stacks just kept doubling. And it was never short stack, short stack. It was always, you know, short and a big or short and a medium or, you know, an average sack. So we have it all in the difficult. call. Flops to ten, turns an eight. Ooh, river's an ace. Uh, all five clubs, though. Oof. Instamuck was, had him down on the turn. Wow. Nice. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Now, Pat has the chip lead now. Moderate. KJ, we're at uh, 48. Also, my other favorite line, it's um, switch every six hands. Maria Hall saying you build a big chip stack so you can lose pots late in the tournament and still be alive. Yep. All right, let's see what happens here, folks. Hand. I really don't even know who wins. I don't remember. <laughs> I call. <laughs> see, you're a bad bluffer. Nah, I am a bad bluffer. That's why I don't bluff. Right. I just don't bluff. And when I do bluff, I always show. I bluffed once yesterday. Or Did you? In the, in the circuit. How'd it go? I got called. I was like, okay. Was it a good spot at least? It, well, I thought so. Maybe not. Anthony races with Queen-9. Pat... Kind of a loose call with the 5-6. Loose, five, loose six. With the five, six off. Flops a gutter ball. Turns a heart. It's going to be trouble. Turns a heart. Still looking for that four. Pat this, bets it out. It's funny. Anthony has queen high and he's just 82%. Yeah. Yeah. He shoves that. Bet and an all in. in. Flush draws. Two chances to win. <laughs> he listens to Brandon. Howard in the background there. I hope that uh, Anthony wins, though. I don't know why. I just started rooting for Anthony after that shove there on the turn. It's kind of gross. One over and uh, hearts. I like their playlist that they got going on right yeah, here. Yeah, it's a good Spotify list. It's like classic rock. Yeah. All right, 10-3 on the button in the small blind. Completes. Now, we haven't seen Pat complete with any big hands yet, but he hasn't really had any big hands Correct. to balance it out. But a 6. Ooh. King 5-4. Clubs King. for Insta. Um, and what do you know? He bets it out. Gives himself two chances. Ooh, pairs the board on the turn. I think Pat's going to barrel again. Okay. No. Uh, he's just, I'm wrong. Brick, brick. Ace high, good. Kings and fives. If Pat fired again, he could have won the pot. You think so? Oh, yeah. Kings on and the, fives with an ace? On the turn. Oh, I got you. Turn. Yeah. So if you flop a flush draw, bet at all three streets. Well, yeah. And sometimes you hit, too. I mean, there's times you don't, but I mean, the king the king's a good card to continue on. Mm-hmm. You know, ah, I don't know. I mean, right, if that was six, no, like, oh, maybe he doesn't have a king. But right. For Pat, specifically. Nine times out of ten, he's betting that king. Right. Nobody puts him on the flush draw. No, <laughs> is it three? And especially if he uh, gets called to the turn, he just he bombs oh, the river. Because okay. I, I I I Pat can probably realize that he might raise with the king on the turn because there's two flush draws. Right. So now he's like, well, he doesn't have a king. I, I can wrap the king. I bet the turn. Right. I can just bet the river. So it's something I don't always do. Set it's, up your bluff. it's setting up the bluff. Thinking about what am I representing here, I have a difficult time doing that because I'm just like, ah, it feels like a good spot to get it in there. And 
then so the now, other guy starts yeah. thinking, well, what was he betting the whole time to fire this on the river? And I, I normally don't always get it through. Yeah. Heads up play. Blinds are now looking at pretty hefty. 40-80. Oh, plus the, the ante. I forgot about the ante still. 40. Whew. It is expensive. 160 every two hands. King Deuce, small blind, you uh, uh seven hundred K this is close. Yeah, I like it. I don't know if I want to put my tournament life in the line for King Deuce when I've been playing for ten hours. It's one of those things if there's an actual real pay jump between first and second, you might not. He yeah. staked me but there isn't. So. Still the title. Still want to say you won. For the Instagram followers. Gotta love the Instagram followers. I wonder if we hit our social media free roll. Because that would have been last week. I'm not confident. If I had to take it, I'd take the under. Hey, they don't want free money. I see a lot of increase, but not not at the pace we need it to be at. Sounds good for us. Maybe a late push. 10-4 for Pat. Gotta check it. He's ahead right now. Yes. Let's see what the flop holds. Ace Queen four. Four for Pat. Bottom pair. Pretty safe that your four is probably good here. Yeah, unless you got a river by six. Random, yeah. Random six. Winner. Yeah. Taking down the blinds when at this point is uh, not bad for Pat. Yeah, I know. You take down four hands in a row at the blinds. Whatever, you know what I mean. 100,000 or whatever. I think they're doing 51 now. Yeah. Woof. Putting the pressure on himself. I thought he was big blind. They both had 150 out there. I was like, uh, bomb pot. Okay. Ooh, I like the bomb pot idea. Give us a cooler. Wait, wait, wait. All right, let's Where's see if button? we can get one. Okay, that's what I thought. Button. Yeah, Pat's the button. <laughs> okay. And he realized he it the first and shipped it over. 888, right, yeah, okay. 888, 888 888,000. All in. I got like eight. I think he said I got an ace. Yeah, all in. Ooh. Call. All in fold, sorry. King three's kind of close. Look at this, 1.1 million each. 10 bigs, 11 bigs. This is pretty back and forth. It is. Kind of been a little entertaining. For yeah. Match. Considering it's gone this long for, and they've really jacked up the blinds. I yeah. mean, they've gone fifty-one fifty. That's a lot. Yeah. So each of them have what about ten big blinds? Yep. You got, you got more. Gonna force some action here. Like Let's see how this works out for him, Cotton. <laughs> Bold strategy, Cotton. What a great movie. It is a great movie. 6-3 versus 8-3. Three. three in the flop's going to be fireworks. I'll keep Two threes on the flop. What if it comes 8-6-3? Then the tournament's over. Or then Anthony's got 62K left. <laughs> that's close that's, to what we needed. Do yeah. it. Oh, that, well, that'll do it, but... Betting a call. thousand call. Turn queen. Diamonds for Anthony. Back doors to diamond draw. Checks to him. Is he going to bet his flush draw again? Looks like he is. 100. Nope. All in. 77%. Man, Anthony's really pounding his flush draw. I know. I love it. I know. I hope he's listening. Pat's probably not going to like that one no, when he sees it. No. He could have won the tournament there. Yeah. Well, we don't know what the river holds. Could have been a diamond. But he's fading. 77% of the time he wins the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. That is a true statement, sir. All right. Let's, let's get these babies all in. All in. Call. All in. Call. Just like that. 
Okay. Ace, Ace queen. queen versus eight nine suited. Nine eight suited. See a queen out there. Eight nine. All right. That's... No diamonds. That's oh, it. Ten ball. Oh. Anthony. That's He's, it, folks. He, he really did put the pressure on everybody. He did. There. Well, that's going to do it for our St. Valentine's Day Massacre final table. Pretty cool uh, heads-up match yeah, here. I mean, that was, was a lot cool. of play, and, and we get to see a lot of differences. Yeah, most of our heads-up matches are just like, oh, uh, this is going to over this. Right, it's two hands. Over. This is going to be uh, it's good. Was nice. It was a good finish. Yeah. I like it. It was a good final table. A lot of action. Super fun. Mediocre commentary, but we got there. Yeah, we're all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe to CCG Poker TV on YouTube. And uh, if we didn't get that social media free roll, we're going to try it again. So keep subscribing, keep sharing us with your friends, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah, hit up the CSOP. See you next time, everybody. Bye.